Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for V-Build number 20. And to celebrate, I thought I'd try something brand new for V-Builds, and that is... Repro labels. I've been putting a lot of stickers on Arms Micron toys, and I figured why not try putting some slightly more high-end stickers onto some Prime toys. Uh, I'm just gonna get going on this. I will mention that uh, there is a, a, a video tutorial on doing these stickers by the guy who designed them. Um, I believe Formula 93? Uh, I will uh, put some kind of link somewhere. Uh, that dude knows what he's talking about because he made these. So, uh, you know, defer to him uh, with any questions or whatnot about how these stickers work. Uh, going by his little uh, guide on doing these, uh, I've got the tools ready of a small knife and uh, a Q-tip. Um, basically, as I understand it, I've already grabbed the wrong part of the sticker to accurately place it, so I'm gonna just quietly um, fix that error. These are made of uh, some form of vinyl that is used in uh, quote-unquote stickering uh, cars, and as such, it's uh, it's a very tough, uh, slightly stretchable vinyl that is able to cling to curved surfaces in a in a very uh, useful manner. The main thing being that it's a good idea to start from one area and work your way up, not place the whole sticker down and start just pressing stuff from the edges in. Um, also, there's a trick involving a lighter, or at least the application of heat, in order to get the sticker to set a little bit more uh, heavily, which is something I'm going to try doing with a with a hair dryer. I actually went into his video and said, "Yo, bro, uh, y'all think I could use a hair dryer, hair dryer, <laughs> a hair dryer uh, to do this?" Um, Gentleman said he doesn't see why not, and another user replied to the comment saying, Hey buddy, I have used a hair dryer to do it, it works. So I want to thank those dudes for accommodating the questions of a Total Repro Labels newbie like myself. Now, I'm also not sure if this particular like vinyl sticker is a common Repro Labels thing, or if it's unique just to a few figures like Knockout. I've not actually used Repro Labels before. Embarrassing secret... I've bought lots of repro labels, but I've never actually uh, sat down and, and used any of them. Um, it's always been a combination of, for the first few years, just literally misplacing them. Um, I know that's the crappy answer to give, but that's what happened. I would buy them uh, for G1 toys, where I basically had finished assembling the toy and just needed some uh, some nice new stickers. And I'd get home from Bakhan. <laughs> And I would misplace the stickers like a champion. Alright, so we got a wrinkle here. Um, I probably did something wrong in applying this sticker in order to acquire that wrinkle. Uh, as I understand it, another nice thing about this vinyl is it is durable. So it's, it's, it is rippable, but it's less likely to rip than the chromy paper of the, uh, the Arms Micron uh, fellows. I think this is going to be a case where I'm just going to have to use the, that heat application trick later on. Oh man. I'm off to a poor start. <laughs> Formula, Formula 93 is shaking his head and going, why? Why does this joker have to be the one to drop my name? and then jank up this simple job so badly. All right, hopefully uh, an application of heat will fix that. If not, luckily the sheet these come from, this sheet, due to the nature of applying stickers to curved surfaces and whatnot, um, Rep for Labels is kind enough to, when at least when you purchase this at a show like I did, uh, they actually provide you with two copies of this sheet so that if you do critically gaff any of the stickers on these little curved surfaces, uh, you are afforded the opportunity to uh, to have a second chance, which uh, is is altogether quite kind of those fine folks. All right, I think I'm I'm doing this. I, I gotta say, the the red that that uh, is printed on the stickers on the sheet looks a lot darker. Um, I'm really amazed seeing how close it is to the red on the toy, like side by side here, like sticker, plastic, sticker, plastic. Hey. Good job, dudes. All right, let's try some of these door stickers. Um, 
other repper label sets I've got, I, I have several handy here with me in uh, in the big smoke. Um, when I picked up this set, I also picked up the set for Prime Ratchet. The unique problem that I face with some repper label sets is that being a gentleman who likes to review a toy now and then on you know, on on the tubes of you, I uh, I don't really want to apply these stickers to a toy that I have not yet done a review for. And as several of you uh, folks at home have gotten to know, I'm not the world's most expedient uh, toy reviewer. So, like that Ratchet set, for instance, uh, I gotta I gotta finish up a couple videos before I can actually apply it. And then me being a bit of a, a video whore, I'm then probably gonna try to videotape the application of it. I just can't relax and sit down and apply stickers. I, I don't know why. Uh, this is also a bit of a test run, this video, just to see how a nice kind of quiet evening of stickering kind of video uh, will look. Uh, my apologies if, uh, if if some of you guys at home are, are sitting there going like, Wow, we thought he learned not to do stupid stuff like this back when he built a friggin' box. Um, anyway... I also should mention that uh, this video is not going to be the coverage video for these stickers. Oh man, I put a finger mail narc. Finger mail narc? Fingernail mark <laughs> into that one. Um, hopefully again, I'm going to see what the heat treatment does. It apparently softens up the memory of the uh, the vinyl uh, in question and helps it kind of cling and adhere to the, the surface by shrinking it slightly. Anyway, I'm going to probably do a quick video about my thoughts on the Repper Label set and how it can enhance the figure uh, in question. Uh, but I'd like to have that be separate from uh, the the application of those stickers. Oh man. I know there's a cut line there that is not activating right now. Oh no. That triangle needs to be somewhere else. Um, can I get it off with this? No. Okay. That's cool. Well, I know this triangle needs to be gone, so I'll just grab it. Ha! Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Right. Uh, I do want to actually do, like, if I do want to do a review of any kind of these repro labels, it's not going to be the V-Build that, that reviews them. Oh, there's bits of Q-tip fuzz on there. Get up. Get up. Thank you. Um, this is uh, some fine motor skill <laughs> challenges being asked of me here. Alright, did we get to the line properly? <laughs> This is kind of fun in that because these stickers are, are on a a nice, you know, like proper material and, and are, are properly cut to, to quite an exacting standard, uh, there there is an immensely greater level of satisfaction in applying them uh, as opposed to your stock paper stickers that you might be dealing with on a an off-the-shelf toy from, from the U.S. or Japan. So I, I definitely see... Uh, very much the appeal in in repro labels as a pastime. Speaking of which, just for those of you in the in the comment section or whatever, I'm, I'm curious: uh, are there any repro label sets that you guys, uh, in particular, have really enjoyed if you've used them? Um, I'll I'll tell you which ones I've got to work on here. I've got I mean I got this set, uh, the knockout set, whatever it's, it's called, P4. Um, I've also got the ratchet set, whatever that's called. I got the P2 set uh, with Wheeljack and uh, Prid Voyager Prime, and like those six stickers for the Prid Cliff Jumper, a toy that I currently, as as of this recording, do not actually own. So uh, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know uh, what kind of repro labels you guys like. I've also got repro labels for uh, for Thunder Shred. I haven't actually picked up any of the ones for the other two fans, Project uh, Ninja Insects. Because I figured I may as well... <laughs> I 
I've got to do a review for Thunder Shred first. So I may as well do the reviews on those guys before I start thinking about stickers. Um, is that the right place? I certainly hope so. Seems like the logical place for that sticker. Um, I've been thinking about whether or not I want to get the sticker sets for Hercules. Uh, right now, I'm kind of thinking, I don't, I mean, there, there's a whole, there's, what, six sets, and they're, they're none too inexpensive. And I actually kind of like Hercules for his, uh, lack of incredible, incredibly dense surface detail. So, I'm at a bit of a crossroads. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to pick him up, because I kind of like how Hercules looks with just that threadbare green and purple aesthetic. I know I'm in a minor I'm in a minority when I say that. Uh, not necessarily a tremendous minority, just a minority. <laughs> um Oh man, this wheel well. This wheel well. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. This is tricky. This is, this is where my, my vast inexperience, I think, is really going to shine. Because I'm like, well, how do you even... How do you even get this thing to adhere around this curved surface? I know it can do it. I just don't understand how quite yet. I guess like this. And then... Down like that. No. Oh, man. At first I was like, oh, pff, they're giving me spare stickers. Let me tell you how much stuff I've stickered. Oh, now I see why they've given me spare stickers, because I don't even understand the nature of the beast yet. Okay, I think I've got some of this down here. All right, or am I over the am I over the lip? I am somewhat over the lip. Oh, this is surgery. However, it's it's uh it's definitely surgery that feels like something that can actually be accomplished, unlike. Arms Micron Breakdown sticker sheet, which just felt like recreational surgery for the sake of how long can we get someone to sit here doing this. You know what, I probably should have lined up that. Well, hmm. No, I would have wanted to line up the back as well. Maybe if I just push this down here. And my apologies to those wincing at home at this, uh, this is newbie's attempt to work a repra label. Ah, that can't be right at all. <laughs> Everything's off kilter over here. Alright, what if I line this up? Along that edge. Ooh, wow, it bent. I mean, it was described in the video by the uh, the gentleman who made this or designed this set that this vinyl could bend, but to actually see it bending in action is uh, is a whole other story. It's quite interesting. That's amazing. It's a really cool material. I wish all stickers were made of this. Was it Ocal vinyl? Is that what it was called? I'm not too sure, unfortunately. Oh, wow. An entire wrinkle just disappeared. I mean, granted, there are a few more in here, but regardless, what a nice material. Man, where did those wrinkles go? I know they were just there a second ago. Okay, wow. Uh, anyway, I just went from being extremely worried that I was gaffing this up 
uh, horrifically to feeling a little bit better. So here's a, a front side. Can you even tell that the left the left red is sticker while the right red is not? I don't know. Um, anything else in here? Oh, right. There's this thing here in the this area. Come with me. There a Q-tip hair in there? No? Okay. Ooh, okay. This feels like a nicely cut little bit of sticker kit. And it is! I was also really skeptical about the ability of a Q-tip to actually do anything in terms of flattening these stickers, but uh, particularly with that cat catastrophic attempt to install uh, this sticker, um, again, I see that I've, I've gravely misjudged uh, the advice given by the gentleman who designed this. Um, Alright, so that's one half of these... Uh, these vinyl stickers. I'll be back once I've done the other half, because you know, I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me go through all that all over again. Uh, if you did, I apologize. Let me know in the comments. For now, we'll be right back. We're back! The AC is on, and I've got the other side of this guy stickered up. Uh, I did actually use a hairdryer for a little bit. I set it onto a low setting and went like on this, and it seems to have somewhat helped uh, the stickers form fit onto this guy. Uh, I will confirm, though, this front sticker as hella hard. Um, I think I pulled it off okay though. Uh, I'm gonna move on to stuff from the second sheet now. There's still a few more stickers for the vehicle mode that are left to do. One of them, I had to scour the pictures on Repro Label's site for a good five minutes before I realized what they're for, and those would be these tiny little black stickers. Uh, these actually go inside the, uh, the little door handle uh, section. They theoretically will go inside. Go into the. Thank you. I'll just adjust that to taste. But more importantly, to fit. Uh, feels okay. I do not have anything that can fit in there to help stick that down. I don't know, can I shove you in? Will you do it? Oh, that's okay. That's that's close enough. Um, the other stickers related to this. Oh yeah, there's the uh, the front grill sticker. Uh, once again, I'm just doing one side uh, so we can take a bit of a tour, and then I will uh, step away. And oh wait, there are two. These are in two pieces. <laughs> no. All right. You know what? It's probably much simpler to do this. Well, I thought it would be much simpler to... <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, gentleman who designed these stickers whose name I keep forgetting. Oh, f fired... Flame... 15... Wait, which way is this? Does it go this way? Absolutely not. Alright. That was a simple ordeal. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, I would bust out the toothpick for this, but I think that the toothpicks might be a tad overly abrasive for the amount of detail that went into these stickers, so I'm, I'm trying to avoid it if I can. That said, I would love to line all this up with this sculpted detail. I'm going to see if the, uh, if the hairdryer trick doesn't make this shrink into that sculpted detail, then I'm going to grab a toothpick, I think, and, and get to work on that. That aside, there's one more sticker on here. Oh yes, you're a pretty little thing, aren't you? Ooh! That pretties that up a little bit. 
Now this part this feels really arms micron, but then again, it's not like there's any other choice as to what to do for this, but we're going to put a sticker straight over top of the clear piece for the headlight. That said, this sticker does look pretty sharp. Looks pretty, uh, pretty on the ball. Pretty thematically sound. I'm not sure if I stuck it in right or not. I'd like to take another go at that, please, Mr. Trebek. What is I don't understand geometry for 300, Alex? already feeling a lot more sensible. Yes! I think. I think that is more on par with the actual surface that I'm trying to cover. I'll take a closer look at that later on. And then we've got a tail light. Uh, how did these go? Oh good, so there is a little bit of sculpted detail there. It means this one goes on that side. These ones I very much would like to have cling to the sculpted detail there, because it just looks like a match made in heaven. What are you doing? Alright. Ah, that's, hmm, that feels like something I should have done the other way around. Learn alongside me, ladies and gentlemen. Watch me fail so that you may hopefully succeed at what you want to do in regards to stickers. And the last thing is we've got some headlight options. Headlight? License plate! We have license plate options. It's not that late. I'm gonna go for the show accurate license plate because I'm a nerd. Not to say I don't appreciate these other license plate options. I might stick one onto my arms micron knockout just for uh, giggles. Uh, this is an astoundingly poor choice of knife placement. All right, there we go. Get you, get you all lined up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Settle down. All right, there we go. Ah, yes, goody, goody, goody. Now, I believe there is another sticker that goes down there, and I want to say it is that one. Excellent. This is another sticker where I kind of had to stare at the uh, the repro labels images for a little while before I uh, I caught on to where it went. I was sticking that up the camera's nose for a second. Sorry about that pal of mine. Uh-huh. Ooh. This looks like a tasty one. Whoops. Ignore what just happened there. I feel like I'm hearkening back to my uh, my classic times applying screen protectors to PDAs as I was wont to do in the early 2000s. Because these uh, these these vinyl stickers definitely play nice with the idea of 
squeegeeing air bubbles out of them. Feels weird. Why is it getting all all strange up here? I don't know. Are there any other stickers for this mode? Oh yeah, all of the windows. <laughs> Hello there, little buddy. So this is another point of contention, I suppose. What's nice about Repro Labels is you can choose what stickers to put on. In this case, this is taking the somewhat tinted clear plastic windows that show robot bits inside and just replacing them with hell of tinted windows, i.e. black. I decided to go for this because I think that the overall effect ends up looking a tad superior. I think that lined up properly. It's a little little bit miscut there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if that, that quite properly works out uh, with the sculpt. But it, it fits together nicely up here. I wonder if I should try that again. Maybe I... Maybe the miscut is me. The sticker is correct, but I am a faulty assembly. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, the sticker's doing that static cling thing where it wants to grip onto a surface. This doesn't feel right. Well, oh, that feels a bit better, actually. Uh, once again, I don't entirely know. Cause obviously, there's a cut made over here to accommodate that. But I feel as though the superior aesthetic is to be found in doing it like this. I don't know. Someone leave a comment. Tell me what I did. Let's continue on. Really crutching on the comments today. Guys, validate everything I'm doing, please. Thank you. Love me. It's love, comma, me. I have not quite gotten delusional enough to just command people to quote unquote love me. That comes in 2013, I suppose. All right. Let's squeegee those air bubbles, ladies and gents. Oh, that feels better. I feel validated somehow. Okay, here we go. Rear windows. Now this is something that I do like. This did spur on the decision to sticker up those clear windows because this guy's back windows, they are in desperate need of something that ain't there. Line up. No! No, you little minx. Yeah, there we go. Let's, let's just let's just keep it perpendicular now. Let's not. These are what? What the blazes? This doesn't feel right whatsoever. I don't know. I think if I were to cite any kind of con, I find the cuts on these stickers to not be quite as precise. They definitely have the height, but I feel like they're not quite properly filling out the space in here. I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look-see uh, as we go on. Come to Papa. Come to. Do what I tell you. And if this one is, goes anything like the other ones have, this may be another case of having to make a, a tough decision. 
What I want is I want this to line up really happily with the edge of the seam of the window split. Such as to possibly mask that window split. Big ass air bubble. That won't do. That will not do! Oh, it's that thing. That's what it's... Okay, never mind. I forgot there's a, there's a hole cut in that window for the sake of the ball joint. That means I'd very much like to smooth over that somehow. I don't think that's actually imminently doable. But... Could be... Hmm. It's gonna bother me for at least a day. And then I will probably forget about it. Uh, I believe that finishes off that half of the stickers, so uh, I'm going to finish that up. And uh, soon we'll have a fully stickered vehicle. Fully stickered car! Alright, so I took it from the video that doing Knockout's face sticker is easier if you have his entire head uh, pulled off. That's that's kind of morbid, I understand. But, uh, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, I also want to just crank my exposure down here for just a second. Because uh, I can briefly showcase to you, this is I guess a bit of a V-Paint uh, preview, that uh, I've done a bit of paint work on the inside of his eyes. Basically, if you open up his head and uh, you paint around the two raised pupil pieces, they're very obviously raised parts of the sculpt inside the light pipe plastic, you get this far more show-accurate looking and intense light piping. So, FYI. Anyway, uh, there are three face sticker options, and the reason why I'm going for these is because the white does make a bit more sense. I'm going to go for the smirk that most everyone goes for, because that's just a, a very knockouty um, expression. My boy, Robot Darren Norris. If I got his name properly correct there. I don't know if, if this is shown, but I, I, I like the knockout character in Prime quite a bit. Uh, I think that while that's caused many to dislike this toy, it's actually helped me like this toy more. Um, because at the end of the day, this toy is a representation of of uh, the KO, and that that just makes me it makes me pleased, regardless of its various faults and whatnot. I mean, I you know, you can check out the review. <laughs> Uh, I think this does need a little bit of uh, additional grip assistance to get it all nice and lined up. I'm not usually one who uh, who believes greatly in these face stickers, but. This is one time where I feel it's it's a it's an okay exception to make. It does feel like it accentuates something uh, in a decent manner. And it's not like I'm losing an intense paint app, I'm losing some silver. And I'm gaining a knockout face. I think this is more or less the best I can ask for. I don't know. On the bright side, because it's on the uh, sticker sheet you get two of, if I don't like this, I can always rip it off and try again without uh, too much risk. Anyway, let's move on to the robot body proper. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I kind of wish that there wasn't such a clear definition between the white and the silver up there. It makes it look like he's got bags under his eyes. I don't know. Anyway, more of the stickering. I believe we're pretty much on the home stretch here. Uh, let's start with one of the difficult ones. There's four of these. I'll just I'll just do one. These are stickers that go on to Knockout's super, super dinky weapon. Get out of my way. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with your stick. I don't foresee these doing very much to change one's opinion of the aforementioned dinky weapon. But, you know, we'll see, I suppose. Miracles can happen. Virginia 
can believe that there is a Santa Claus. Do they still air that? Like around Christmas time? Yes, Virginia. Virginia? Virginia? Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa. Do they still show that? I remember I saw that when I was a little kid. And I don't remember a single thing about it other than the title being weird to me. Anyway, you do that a bunch of times. Uh, let's let's go to the more interesting stuff. Um, I'm gonna go down to the ground level here. We're gonna do some uh, some foot stickering. Uh, this one looks kind of interesting to me. It's a full-on uh, wraparound piece, and that means more uh, necessitated motor skills that I may or may not actually possess. So let's find out whether or not I possess them. I've already put this in a really awkward place as far as this uh, exacto knife situation is concerned. Let's see, does that match up with that stuff? I think it more or less does. So ideally, if that all matches up, I should be able to simply go around pressing on it. Hmm. I think I might have uh, got a wrinkle back there. Come on, back around. Okay. You're set. You're set. That feels a bit better. Alright, there we go. There's also a toe piece. Worth mentioning, I suppose, that these are not the same thing. There's one for the right foot, one for the left foot, and the right foot is his right, not our right. So bear that in mind before you go a mad sticker in. Okay, dokey. And then if we roll this around, ideally. It will get caught on some mold flash. Well, that part aside, this feels like a pretty good sticker. Yep. Now he's wearing spats. I dig it. All right, this sticker. This is this is right out of. Uh, by the way, right shin. This is right out of my arms, of Micron uh, veteranhood. I remember this style of sticker. I've done this before. Yeah, this is not hubris at all. I certainly will not pay for being so cocky about having done such a sticker in past. I am a dead man. Slightly less of a dead man. Alright, so if we line this up... Line that up on the sculpted detail. Let's line it up along here, then. This seems to be going okay. To some degree. Hmm. Apologies for the long silences in this uh, this video, by the way. I'm, I'm just kind of... I find I have to stare at this stuff a little bit to, to, to garner a, and build a sense of confidence about what it is I'm actually doing. Oh, man. Moment of truth. Does this divot line up with the stuff underneath? Hey, jerk. You were supposed to stay behind back here in the first place. That's right. Uh, that, hmm. Does not feel super confident to me. Not sure if I can easily get this free again. The 
This could go very pants. This could go very pants very soon. Pants is a it's a European gentleman's expression, FYI. In case you're uh, you're curious about the etymology of that. That came from Britain. Just ask uh, Mr. Andrew Millman about it. He can fill you in as to uh the meaning of pants. There's one man who knows the true meaning of pants. It'd be good old Andy Millman, let me tell you a thing or two. That one was for you, Andy. That was for you. Okay. I, d I don't know if this is working right. I'm not even sure how to tell. This, this sticker does not feel like it was cut exactly... Uh, to match up with the sculpted detail. It feels more like it's just filling in a space. So, uh, hmm. Guess we'll just have to roll with what we've got. Yeah, I don't know about the sticker. I feel like the Arms Micron one pulled it off a bit better that time. But, let's go into something that the Arms Micron dudes uh, were kind of tough to work with. That being the knee sticker. This is in four pieces. Once again, there is a right knee and a left knee, so be aware of that. I want to know how much I can line this up with the bah! That's not at all what I wanted to do. I want to line this up with the edge of this thing. That felt disturbingly natural. I'm worried something bad might happen. Let's try the other one. See what happens. No! Anyway, in regards to repro label sets, uh, I, I know I talked about it some time ago in the 15 hours between every shot in this video. Uh, let me know if, uh, if there are any repro label sets you guys recommend. I think I mentioned the ones that I've got kicking around here, so... Might be kind of a, a waste of everyone's time, yours and mine, if you recommend the ones I've already got. But, then again, if you recommend the ones I've already got, that lets me know that I've, I've actually got some cool ones, so I don't... Hmm. Maybe I got a little bit prejudgmental there. Would not be the first time. Prejudgmentalizing things. This turned out fine. I think this, this totally works. And again... We'll see what happens when I put the white bits on. Making this that stuff meet up in the middle might have completely balderdashed the intentions of the sticker cut. Going by the uh, the video by the gentleman who uh, made made up this set. So we'll see in a second. Oh, it still feels okay. Yeah, that one went on fine. Let's see what happens when I put the other one on. Oh dear. So I'm just matching up the, uh, the edge of the white sticker to the edge of the black sticker. That feels okay. I don't, cause these, these don't feel like they're supremely closely cut to the sculpted detail. It feels more like they're just putting a colored shape in there, as I mentioned before. So I think that turned out alright. Looks cool. Uh, let's get crotchy. That's, uh, by the way, upcoming t-shirt design. Uh, hope to see you all at VCon wearing your Let's Get Crotchy uh, t-shirts from the Let's Get Crotchy merch store. I might have just made all that up, FYI. But I'm not quite sure yet. Hey you, line up. Line up with your sculpted detail. Oh, this is a 
Feels like a nicely cut little piece of sticker. I dig this one. Yeah. Ooh. Aren't you smooth? Knockout's crotch stickers are definitely top tier. Knockout, you got a good crotch. Most definite all. Alright, now he's got to put on a, a palm sticker. I believe this one is for his right palm. Did I say palm? I meant knuckle. You know, the, the, the whatever the part of the hand that's opposite to the palm. I don't know anatomy. I'm not some kind of EMS worker like some other Christophers I could mention who like cars that are made by a certain manufacturer. Cars called Ultra Magnus. Ah, he doesn't even watch these V-Builds. He's never going to find out about this. Oh, that's a cool effect. So, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much accounts for all of our half of a stickering that I wanted to do on camera for now. Uh, oh, wait, no, there's this thing, the thigh wrap. Huh. I'm curious to see how this turns out. Alright, so I'll match this up with the, uh, the sculpted, well, not really sculpted detail, but the, the clear divot that this is associated with. And not clear as in the opposite to opaque, but the, uh, clear as in obvious. Okay. So that's lined up. That's flattened out nicely. Let's roll along to this next layer okay and we'll flatten it out over this way and see what happens that went swimmingly alright nice swivel still works I kind of dig that. I wish there was one for the uh, the hip ball joint uh, to uniform that up a little bit. Uh, right. Well, I'll be back in a sec with uh, a look at this dude finished up and some final thoughts. All right. So he's all dressed up, and uh, I kind of dig it. It's neat. Um, I definitely want to add a little bit of paint on this guy. Uh, basically, just some gold here and there. Uh, but it's cool. I, I like the sticker set. It's uh, it's a fun build. Or, or a fun stickering, I suppose. Uh, great vinyl, pretty well cut stickers, more or less all around. I mean, bits and pieces here and there where uh, it didn't match up super perfectly with the sculpted detail, but uh, hey, it's a pretty good job. And uh, definitely that hair dryer trick feels like a good thing. Uh, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you got all your stickers on there. Take your hair dryer, set it to uh, you know, low. I'm just kind of wave it around on this guy a little bit, take him away. Do it a whole bunch, and eventually, I think I'm seeing it start to make the stickers uh, shrink and compress and, and take to the shape of this guy a little bit more. Uh, definitely something I would only recommend, with my very limited knowledge, uh, to do on the vinyl stickers. Um, I guess just get the knockout set, and then if the stickers feel like the knockout set, uh, do it. Uh, anyway, thanks for checking this out. Hope it wasn't uh, a waste of your time at all. And uh, I got more repper labels to do. Let me know if you want to see some more repper label in, in uh, the V-Build. And if not, uh, then, you know, just don't tell me you don't want to see it. Show me you don't want to see it by grabbing a sticker sheet and turning on your camera and then eating that sticker sheet and sending me a link to the video. Because that is the best way to express it, I think. That's how I would express it. You know, I just take that sticker sheet, just... And that would be my way of expressing, like, hey, guess what? I'm, I'm done. I'm tired of this. Don't you repper label on camera anymore, you buffoon. And I probably still will anyway. I just want to watch somebody eat a sticker sheet. <laughs>